This is the BMW X7. And you're probably thinking, X7, what is that? Well, it is an all new model from BMW and it's based on a longer version of the X5. And it is finally a real alternative to the Mercedes GLS. This year, BMW introduced an all new X5 midsize utility. And at the same time, this longer version. There are many similarities with engine and interior features, but there are a few differences. The first is this. All right, let's talk about this grill. The new design certainly has a lot of detractors and a lot of people have said it is insanely huge. It's definitely not the understated German design that we are used to, but I think the thing is you need to take this X7 in its entirety. And when you look at the front grille, it is proportional. And I have a feeling that it will grow on most people. As I mentioned, the main competitor is the Mercedes GLS, a vehicle that has been around for roughly 15 years and BMW never had a true competitor until now. This X7 is very large with plenty of space for seven passengers over three rows and has a huge cargo area. The X7 might be a little late to the party, but BMW has done its homework. Inside the rear cargo area, you'll find switches to move the second and third row. The third row retracts automatically and the second row can be moved forward and back. The driver also has switches to operate the second row seats, plus the second row valet forward with the flick of the top handle. Plenty of options for access in and out. On top of all of that, air suspension comes standard on this 2020 X7. It's optional on the X5. You simply touch this button and the rear air bladders raise or lower the back of the vehicle to make it easier to load heavy items. The second row seats can be ordered with two captain's chairs or a bench seat. This switches the seating from seven passengers to just six. The X7 comes with a crystal shift lever for true opulence, heated and cooled cup holders, two 12.3 inch screens, one for the instrument cluster and the second to display the audio system. The interior of this X7 looks identical to the X5. Everything we come to expect from BMW with beautiful materials and the latest connectivity. BMW's system is called iDrive, and we think that it's one of the easiest and most logical systems in the marketplace today. And that wasn't always the case with BMW. Now, it's important to note that Apple CarPlay is standard on 2020 models. It used to be an option, and Android Auto is not available. Just like the smaller X5, this X7 is offered with the two turbocharged gasoline powered engines. The first is the inline turbo six cylinder called 40i with 335 horsepower and a standard eight speed automatic. The optional engine is the 50i, a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 with 456 horsepower. The six cylinder makes a run to 100 kilometers an hour in just 6.1 seconds in the X7, but it's only 5.5 seconds with the X5. So the added mass of this big utility is noticeable. The same is true on the road. The size is noticeable in the corners, but a part of that might be the standard air suspension that can make this more of a luxury barge than a performance sedan. Now, the big question of the day though, is has BMW done enough to this new X7 to make it a serious competitor with the third generation Mercedes GLS? BMW has taken an already winning formula in the X5, refined it, elongated it, added more standard features and provided buyers a familiar package and design, but with real room for adults over three rows. Coming a little bit late to the game, but BMW has learned and provided a true alternative. This new X7 is everything we expect from BMW. It's got great handling and a very comfortable ride. Despite its size, it's maneuverable and has good outward visibility. Honestly, it feels just like I'm driving a big X5. One thing to consider is the X7 is around $20,000 more than the X5. So if you really don't need that third row, you can save yourself a lot of money. 
This X7 starts at around 95,000 and the V8 is gonna cost you another $11,000. That's a lot of money for a big SUV with a large grill.